Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. We're going to be speaking with Miki Rosadas, Head of Clinical Development at Sensi AI. It's based in Tel Aviv. She's going to talk about the world's first AI-powered in-home virtual care agent. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Miki Rosadas. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Neil. Thanks for having me. I did mention, of course, you're the head of clinical development at Sensi AI. Give us a brief look into your professional background and talk about your role at Sensi AI. Sure. Um, so, yes, I'm head of clinical development at Sensi. Um, and in short, what that means is that I bring my clinical experience and skills as an occupational therapist. Um, into the product uh, that we're developing here at Sensi, which is all about assisting our older adults, our seniors to be able to age in place. Uh, so a lot of it is really very much those practical uh, and that those skills from my clinical experience as an OT. Um, and we're now scaling that through the product and providing recommendations and strategies to allow for home care agencies and family members to know how to best care for the elderly. What unmet need is Sensi AI trying to address? So, yeah, there's definitely um, an aging population. And, you know, as always, there are going to be uh, aging people who are wanting to stay living in their homes. Um, you know, aging in place is a really important goal and something that I'm very passionate about personally. Um, and what we're doing at Sensi is providing home care agencies with the information and data and knowledge to help them, to help family members as well, to know how to best care for their loved ones and how to provide the elderly with the optimized level of care um, within their homes to really aim towards keeping them at home for longer, keeping them safe, preventing health uh, deterioration, preventing hospitalization. Um, so that is really what we're really all about um, here at Sensi. And we do that in a number of different ways um, to really help guide the home care agencies. Is your product geared more toward experienced practitioners in home health care and care of the elderly or those who are just starting out trying to take care of their mom or their, their dad, just starting out working in a nursing home? Is it uh, more of an educational learning tool or more of an enhancement support tool? So I would say it's definitely a combination of both. Uh, and it can range from um, being really uh, quite personalized recommendations about a person um, that might be also inciting the, the families or the home care agency about something that's going on for that person that they otherwise might not have been aware of. Um, so sometimes it is really just being able to be quite personalized within the care provision. Um, and in other times, it is really also helping maybe more junior care staff to to understand, you know, different strategies for dealing with certain health conditions and also helping the home care agencies to understand where the training needs might be for, for their caregivers. So I'd say that uh, Sensi is helping on a really wide spectrum there and a, quite a wide range of different, um, I guess, specialities within the health field um, in really guiding this process. Give us a thumbnail look into exactly how your AI works. Is this something that needs to be downloaded on a telephone? Can it be accessed on a PC? Is it something that is done remotely via telemedicine? How exactly does it work? So the way that Sensi works is that uh, we have three pods or small devices that are plugged into a person's home um, and they use auditory artificial intelligence to be able to guide the care needs of the person. So it's picking up on auditory information and analyzing that and then providing the home care agency with the care related uh, advice and trends and insights. So how that works is that the home care agencies, they have a dashboard that they're able to log on to. They can have a daily update into the client's uh, profile, into the client's well-being, what's been happening for them, what have the interactions with their caregivers been like, has there been any indication of possible risks in their environment, uh, have there been any events that have happened as well. 
Um, you know, has there been a fall that's been detected? Uh, has there been a near fall that's been detected? And all of that information is giving that home care agency a real full picture, holistic view of that person and their needs in order to really action those into, you know, practical ways of dealing with what could possibly be occurring. If I'm understanding correctly, your product can be used when a person is going to be left unattended for maybe a short or a longer period of time, overnight perhaps, or if a caregiver is in-house with them but just needs guidance as to how to maybe tweak their care for their patient. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, Our clients range from those who don't have any care at all at this given moment uh, to those who have 24-7 care. Um, And Sensi has a different, I guess, need and value and can provide a different service for that range of different level of care for for the person. Um, So in the example of where a client might have care just a couple of days of the week, um, and it might be that family are concerned about their well-being during those periods without care or during those periods where the family aren't around to be providing that full-time supervision. Uh, Sensi gives them um, that level of assurance and peace of mind. Um, it eliminates blind spots into the person's care environment. Um, and it allows for an understanding into their needs without necessarily having to be there physically all the time. Um, but that being said, you know, there is, of course, also, you know, some clients who have Sensi and have 24-7 care. Um, and it's really interesting as well to see how important it is to have that Sensi data and the trends in the person's needs that sometimes when a person, whether it is a caregiver or a family member, is so close to a situation, um, they don't always have a, a holistic overview of of a situation and a and an objective view of a situation. So having senses trends into what could be occurring over time for for uh, the senior is also really beneficial for their overall health and well being. How seamless is the installation as far as a a facility is concerned? I mean, I'm supposing that in a home setting, it would be a little less complicated to place and calibrate your your device. But in a a care facility such as a nursing home or a hospital setting, uh, how seamless is it for staff to, I guess, tackle the learning curve? Uh, So at the moment, we provide Sensi through home care agencies. So Sensi is at the moment for those living within their home environment. Mm -hmm. Um, And in terms of the installation process, like I said, there are these three pods and they are placed around the home. So usually we advise that they're placed in, you know, the areas that are most commonly used by the person whether it's their living room, their bathroom, their bedroom. Um, and it is a very easy to use plug and play system um, that is connected through the person's Wi-Fi. Um, and that, you know, once it's plugged in, it's very much out of the way. You know, it's very unnoticed. And it, it uh, then takes a period of two weeks to calibrate this baseline into the person's patterns of behavior, Mm -hmm. um, which then allows the analysis of, you know, what is considered um, an interesting anomaly into their their well-being. Give us a website, if you would, where we can learn more about Sensi AI. Sure. So Sensi's website is sensi.ai. S-E-N-S-I dot A-I, correct? Correct. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for introducing us to Sensi AI this morning. And hopefully we'll uh, have an opportunity to speak again as uh, things progress with your company and your, uh, your device. Thank you, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Mickey Rosanis, Head of Clinical Development at Sensi AI. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download it SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.